story. The story has been getting people's attention for thousands of years. Scripts, movies, books, radios, and more. Here's the funny thing about story, which is where businesses fall down. No one cares about your story, but people love being invited into a story. The NBA has millions of people following their story, so is Top Shot telling the story? Many have said that these moments need audio, atmosphere, commentary, but the truth is Top Shot don't own the rights to the broadcaster's audio, so it's not simply possible right now. Yes, each moment has a write-up, but it's below the fold, you've got to scroll down to read it, and let's face it, not everyone does. And two, people are reading less and less these days. Attention spans are at an all time low. In our everyday life, we are given 3000 commercial adverts a day. We just don't have the mental capacity anymore to take in every single thing. That and the fact that our minds are programmed to take shortcuts so we don't have to think of every single thing we need to do. But it recently occurred to me that we don't need the in-game audio to have audio on moments. So I decided to trial making audio for the moments without any copyright infringements. I have every championship DVD since 1980 and most of them don't have in-game audio for extended spells. They have one of them many things, but also they have a voiceover artist to help tell the story of what happened that season in how they triumphed and won the championship. It's also previously occurred to me that moments are too short, often 10 seconds, to provide that context of why these moments are actually special to us. Some moments, some moments are great because of what happened the one minute or two minutes or 10 seconds prior to the moment actually starting. So I decided to go out and try and add some audio to a few Top Shot moments that I think can have their story better told. Now, I don't have a musical instrument, but the best thing about the internet is I don't need one. There are websites that can connect people to voiceover artists. Today, we've just got to put up with me. But there's also websites that have libraries and libraries of music that sell their rights for their subscriptions. I use one of those in every single video. There's a link in the description below if you're interested in that. You can source professional voiceover artists on places like Fiverr, and they're really good and economical. But today, you've got to put up with my voice, which sucks. But hey, it is what it is. Now, I get it. A mid-range jumper from DeMar DeRozan in the middle of the mid-season, in the middle of the second quarter, doesn't have massive story and context that we need to really drill down into. But a lot of these moments do. But Top Shot have gotten better and better lately at picking really good plays and less of that kind of stuff and often significant moments that have something about them that can be told. These moments are getting missed by collectors that are just looking at set, tier and price and that's it. Now, I'm not saying that this is what Top Shot should do, but I am saying there's some story out there that is being missed in a lot of these moments. So I decide to make them. Give the audio so you guys can have a discussion of whether or not this is something that Top Shot should pursue to trial it and see what the people might like. And also what suggestions the community has. Music, no music. Sound effects, no sound effects. Voiceover, no voiceover. And while we're talking about feedback of Top Shot features, go follow Bayrak Yusuf and Live Lands on Twitter. They are producing visual concepts on Top Shot community ideas and they're really, really good. It's your time to speak. Let us know in the comments what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe. As the king finds himself on a breakaway, he throws down a two-handed reverse windmill slam as if he was mirroring the Laker legend. Fans affectionately call this moment the Kobe tribute dunk. With Westbrook injured, Durant carried the thunder through double overtime against the Toronto Raptors. Down two, this game-winning three capped off a 51-point night in his MVP season. With the league imminently about to suspend the season due to COVID, Vince Carter checks in with 19 seconds to go and drains the final points of his multi-decade Hall of Fame career, just in time for his Top Shot debut. Down five with 10 seconds to go. Lillard hits a three and Portland force a jump ball from the inbound. The ball finds its way to the Trailblazers superstar who adds another game winner to his portfolio, finishing with 44 points.
Golden State Warriors star Steph Curry pushes the pace and attacks the paint for an historic layup. With this bucket, Curry surpasses the dominant big man, Wilt Chamberlain, as the franchise's all-time leading scorer.